Hey, Coach's Corner. Today, we're going to look a little bit about where we are in this time of year, which is middle of January 2022. So what is my um, little take for you today is as a coach, what I notice is that the excitement of starting the new year, everybody was gung ho. They have, they have their programs, they have their training facilities, everything is in place and everybody's like, bam, there we go. It's time to start. It's time to just attack it and do it and, you know, go crazy. And as I'm getting the feedback and also I see people's programs, when they complete their programs, I get all the, the numbers and, and I look at it and then I, it seems to be... Like the first week is awesome. The second week, it's still good. The third week, it's kind of like, you know, it's trickling in. So I'm asking myself, what happens um, that we're, we're so gung-ho in the beginning of the year, but then we lose the momentum. And the momentum is, is that, you know, we get that boost of starting the new year with new things and we are able to recharge ourselves and reset ourselves in order to get going for whatever goals we have. And then boom, we get hit by these cold fronts and we're just like, I don't wanna go outside. I don't wanna do anything. It's cold, it's, it's miserable. And I just, you, you know, your, your, your mindset changes and people don't go to the gym. They signed up. You pay $5 a month or $10 a month and they still don't go. And it's like, I'm only losing $5 a month. Imagine if you would have paid $500 a month, you would be there every day. So what is the difference in doing a $5 and a $500? It's obviously the answer is very simple. It's mindset. So now is time to focus on how to create the mindset to stay motivated and stay on the program so you can create consistency. Because I know there's a lot of people out there that is, there are, there's, they are racing, they're doing different things, but their official races are starting. And I'm talking Ironman, half Ironman starting in March. Um, so, I know people are gearing up for that, but remember each training that you're missing is a component of your fitness that you're not achieving to achieve your goal. So just remember that mindset development during this time of year is a key factor to stay on course. To stay on course, you always have to go through the process. It's nice to know that you're doing a race, but if you're not preparing for the race, you are going to run into problems of getting injured because you're going to start crash coursing your training two or three weeks prior to the race. You're going to get injured. You're going to get burned out because you're overloading your body that cannot make those physiological adaptations in order to take on all the stress. So I am urging, I am urging everybody that is losing focus, motivation, and inspiration. Go listen to a YouTube channel, listen to music, do lie down, stretch, do breathing, find something that burns you from the inside in order to get moving. Is it difficult to move when it's cold? How? Yes, it is. But just think, you're going to burn so much more calories when you're going to go outside. But ima because imagine how hard your body has to work in order to keep you warm. So get outside, get fresh air, go walking, go running, go biking. If you can't go bike outside because it's cold, I understand that. But go for a walk. Just go and get fresh air. Fill your lungs with the fresh air, the cold, crisp, beautiful air. And then, you know, you do that over and over. And that way, you will slowly, slowly pick up your momentum again. Don't give up. Don't give up. It's not time yet. Now is the time to dig in, stand your ground, and nail those workouts. So I also want to let you guys know that I'm going to have a guest on my next Coach's Corner. 
and I am really excited to bring this person into my pod, uh, my podcast or my my my, my little segment. Uh, she has done a a race, uh, racing the planets. She has done one of them, and she went from zero to 365 days in order to achieve this goal. Somebody that has never thought that she could do such an amazing thing. So I'm really excited to bring Amelia, my friend from South Africa on our next segment. So I hope that when you listen to this one, you will tune in to the next one. I will post this also on my Facebook and on my YouTube channel. So everybody have a great, great week ahead. Prepare yourself. Remember, the best way to take charge is have a plan for the week. I love, I still love writing. This is my agenda and I write it down, everything. I write down the way I feel, the way what happened and everything. And I just still love writing. I feel connected when I'm writing instead of just typing everything. So have an amazing, amazing week ahead. Keep warm, stay healthy and remember if you need to change your diet, change it. But don't forget to hydrate. Hydrate your body because it hydrates your organs and it will give you energy. Until next time, have an awesome day and week ahead.